Hey gang, it's Ark. Welcome back to our Blind Black Rock Interloper series. Um, let me go ahead and drink some water here. Ooh, I'm actually just about out of water. This could be, um... Mouth. Now this is fine. I'm already fully rested, so I don't need water for sleeping. I'll just, um... Do what I can for now. I've got to wait this blizzard out. Um, I'm going to take advantage of starvation a little bit, I think. It should be light in here soon. Uh, my frostbite risk is 67%. That's surprising, considering that I have everything covered to the best of my knowledge. And I just slept for 10 hours. It's claiming I have risk on my head. I guess this doesn't count as enough protection or something. I don't know. We'll see what happens to it over time. It's at 67%. Let's go ahead and um, do some of this crafting that I have available to me. Um, go ahead and spend 30 minutes working on reishi mushrooms. Damn it. I'm so hungry. Yeah, well, you're going to have to wait a little bit. I don't really want to eat right now. Let me just take stock. I've got 700 calories there. Hmm. I do have quite a few calories, but the problem is if I start eating, I'm going to go through this so quickly. I think I need to wait a little bit. All right, can I see in here yet? Nope. Let's go ahead and craft the rose hips. You can only craft one of those. I'm gonna run out of things to usefully do in the dark here in a minute. Still can't see anything except for the bed. Um, one thing I'm considering is, what does an improvised head wrap cost? Two cloth. So if I harvest my hat, then I could craft this. Um, that would be better than the baseball cap. It's probably worth taking the time to do that. Although this is in really good condition right now. I might let it wear down some. The issue, of course, is that I have the time to spend on stuff now. There's not a lot to do. Looks like I'm actually going to start getting cold in here. Frostbite risk is still sitting at exactly 67%. I feel like that's a bug. It should be going either up or down, I think. Maybe if I wear it on the outside slot, it'll have a different effect. Alright, let me just go through all my stuff and see if I have anything else to kill time on. I've got this one piece of cloth. Um, I can go ahead and deal with my lantern. Let me just... I have a lot of fuel here. refuel this with any, um... I thought I had a can of lantern fuel. Maybe I'm getting confused between different saves. Or maybe it was the, uh, the last attempt on this playthrough that I found that lantern fuel. But evidently I don't have it. So we can refuel this. And I guess I'll use a little bit of lantern fuel since I have so much. We'll just uh, get a view of our surroundings for right now. Alright, I've already 
checked everything in here, I think. I've got a couple of crates I could break down. It's like exactly two. Well, that's something to do that'll uh, eat up some time. I could probably use a little extra firewood. Let's go ahead and see if I can, I'm can. i allowed to do this in the dark. Right, there's the crate there. Break it down in 15 minutes. Okay, there's just enough light in here now that I can go up here and break this one down. Okay, it sounds like uh, we can actually go somewhere now. Um, so I'm not going to bother to... Uh, make that head wrap right now. Frostbite risk is still at exactly 67%. Don't understand why this isn't healing. I'm completely warm in here. Uh, but I need to start a fire to make more water anyway. Yeah, all we have is these drink uh, almost anything about now. drinks left. So I think what I'm going to do is go down to the... Um, I'm going to step out here and run down to the barn or whatever it is where the fire barrel is. And we'll start a fire in there and do some cooking and get warmed up and uh, use up the very early part of the day on that. There's nothing left for me to do in here. All right, let's go. Okay, I gotta figure out where I am and what direction I'm going. This is not ideal conditions. Uh, but I think this way is correct. Keep an eye out for any wolves that might be around. So there's a road up here, and then on the other side of the road... If I'm remembering correctly... Oh, I might have gone completely the wrong direction here. I don't recognize this at all. Let's go over this way. Okay, this is it. Okay, keep an eye out for any animals. We're almost fully cold already, so we gotta really hurry here. All right, I'm gonna light this torch. It's so cold. I just wanna lay down for a bit. And I don't need all this lantern fuel, so I'm actually going to use some as accelerant. Uh, let's change to a stick. Gives me a 100% chance to start. Um, let's add some sticks to this. Uh, let's see, what's the temperature? It's got to be really cold. Yeah, we need at least one piece of coal on here just to even get warm next to it. All right, let's add um, sticks. And sticks are the least efficient to carry, so I'm going to get this up to around four hours. We're actually out of sticks, okay. Um, still, okay, now I'm warm. Alright, let's turn this off. Need to get my Looks water like I going. Made it through another night. I'm going to avoid drinking any of my teas yet, so... I'm just going to get a little bit of water going on this and then reset it. Um, so I can drink a small amount. Oh, this actually still is not quite warm enough. I don't have a lot of fuel, though. I guess I'll take the two up arrows for now. I am so thirsty, I can't think straight. Can't quite harvest that. Um, all right, let's take this. Now let's make just a little bit of water that we got out of that. All right, so that'll be done in 10 minutes, and then we can stop losing condition to thirst. All right, there's a workbench here, but I can't make anything here right now.
What I might want to do is once I get warmed up, I could uh, run out and grab enough sticks to get this fire a bit warmer. All right, let's just uh, pass time until that's ready. Go ahead and drink that and start some more water. Let's just take stock. I might have enough to use that preserving them is... Um, Oh, I do not have that many teas, actually. Well, I guess I have all seven of these once I cook them. So that's, um... That's still not a lot. Alright, so I'll try to conserve those as best I can. Uh, it looks like it got a little warmer, because now I'm getting three up arrows. Um... I think what I'm going to do, we've got 10 minutes left on that. What's my frostbite risk now? 58%. Alright, this might be dumb, but I'm going to harvest this. So I'll be left without protection for a second. And let's take that... Um, I'm just going to reset the time on that. So let's just drop this uh, bad water over here. Let's get these both started on fresh water. That should give me 40 minutes in which I can craft this um, better hat. Should have plenty of time left on the fire. Looks like it's cleared up a lot outside. I'm fully warm now. Those will be done in five minutes. Let's get this on. My frostbite risk has dropped some. We'll have to see if it increases while I'm out and about. Alright, I am uh, burning time that I could be spending exploring stuff, so let's um, go ahead and get some fresh water on these, and then I'm going to go out and um, see what can be seen. Alright, we got plenty of time on the fire. Those should last a long time. Alright, I think I want to explore this way. This should be away from the prison, I think. Uh, eventually, I want to find my way up towards the prison, but for right now, let's see what's over here. And I can go out to this road. Looks like there's a couple of cars up here. To check that area back there for cattails at some point. Alright, nothing in the back here. Perfect. Ooh, additional food. Nice. A marine flare. That's really nice. I haven't tried that out against the timber wolves yet. Go ahead and mark this in advance as being looted. I mean, quite cold, and I really don't want to lose any more condition to the cold, so I think we're going right back now. I should have brought a torch with me. That was kind of dumb. Um, Alright, so... We just try to grab a couple of sticks on our way back. Uh, I'm actually warm up somehow. getting a little lost here. Let's hope I'm going somewhat the right direction. We'll grab as many of these as possible. Alright, we can overlook ravine here. We're headed this way. I'm going to walk along this ravine on the way back, just to make sure I haven't missed anything in this area. Now losing condition to the cold. Um, go out this way. Wait. I'm so cold. I'm warming up a bit. Oh, that scared me. All right, so I'll come back over here to get these reishis in a minute. Um, doesn't look like there are any cattails.
Alright, what do we have? Oh, we still have a lot of time left on these. Okay, so I found some extra food. Um, I actually don't remember. Okay, I found the flare. I've got to remember that I have that now. Uh, let's see. I'm going to add a few more sticks to this, and then we will get a torch when we're ready to head back out. I think the best thing I can do at this point is just, uh, systematically explore the area around this fire while I continue to make more water and teas and stuff. Alright, let's do more water for, or no. Yeah, well, we have to now. Alright, next time I'll do, uh, teas. Let's see, did I get any tea ingredients this time around? No. They're all over there. Right in that area. kind of changed to this fire for right now. And let me know if a torch will uh, stay lit out there. Anything more useful I can do besides passing time? Probably not much more useful. Still fairly early in the morning. Once it warms up in the afternoon, it'll be a lot easier to do this exploration. Alright, I'm going to take a short trip out now. Let's get over here, get some reishis, and get back. Uh, where were they? Here we go. I don't think I ever collected any old man's beard, um, so I might want to just grab three of those just to have them on hand for an emergency. Yeah, it's pretty important right now that I don't let my condition drop. So after this we'll go back to get warm. There were only two here. I'll have to grab another at some point. All right, that went really well. One thing I'm tempted to do um, is get a little bit more sleep as well. I wonder if I can harvest these through here. I have very long arms. Alright, um, I'm gonna let these... Let's get rid of this torch. It's gonna be pretty much useless. I'm gonna let these finish. Now we'll just go ahead and take all of that water. And just double check that that was actually finished. Yeah, I have only good water on me. I really don't want to accidentally drink water that's bad. Alright, let's make some teas. Um, we'll start with rose hips. Okay, got 15 minutes to kill while those cook. Let me just check to see if there's any more. Oh, I didn't check this before. I think I can use this. Pole and tinder. There's one more rose hips out here. Check these stumps just behind the whatever that structure is, barn, shed. Okay, 
and it looks like there's a bunch back here that I haven't explored either. There's the power lines. I don't remember exactly where the prison that I saw is in relation to me. We're at Cook's Farm. Alright, I'm kind of wasting time here. Jesus, Let's get back in. Cold. Okay, those are about to be ready. Let's go ahead and take these. Um, let me go ahead and do more reishis. And now I actually have um, reishi mushrooms to craft. And rose hips, actually. This is a good thing to do to get warmed up. Go ahead and throw another torch away. Alright, let's go grab some more stuff. I'm gonna head back um, behind this area where I found the reishis. We'll continue searching up along the edge of this ravine. I just want to make sure I haven't missed anything back here. Grab one old man's beard when I make it over there. Okay, so this seems to be the edge. Got about half my temperature bar left, but I didn't start with it full, so... A bit of time left. There's a bridge here. All right. We're going to save that for later. That looks like it goes up to, well, at least where the power lines are. I don't know if there's going to be a road up there or what. Right, let's go ahead and grab these. We need to get back and warm up again. Probably getting to the point where it's uh, close enough to midday. I can't feel my feet. Um that I'll be able to survive for a while just with the warming up buff from T's. And then I can start doing some further range exploration. All right, so now we just have to go from that uh, leaning tree over along that back wall to explore the rest of this region, make sure we didn't miss anything. I'm about to get cold. Let's get back in range so that I don't freeze. Okay, we've got uh, 15 minutes to kill here. Uh, let me just go ahead and do another craft. Um, let's go ahead and do another set of teas. And I'm just going to step briefly away from here and see what the feels like is. Negative 24. Okay. So as it warms up closer to negative 20, negative 15, like that region, uh, that'll be much more reasonable for drinking a tea, carrying a torch, and uh, trying to explore long range. Uh, once these are done, I'm going to put more, more water on, grab a torch, and explore that back area, like we talked about. Sorry if this is a little slow, but I need to get these teas made anyway, and um, I needed the water, and we're slowly getting the exploration around this area done, so there's a lot. Um, this has been very productive so far, I would say. Um, Alright, before I grab this, let me just drop... Um, I can just drop them next to the barrel here. I'll drop some of my water don't need to be carrying all this. Uh, drop two liters of that. Okay, we can take these. Set up some new water. And... I don't want this to go out yet. Let's uh, throw a few more sticks on it. And grab a torch. 
And let's go. We're almost fully warm now. Okay. Haven't looked back here yet, so let's make sure there's no predators around. I'm going to go down this way first. Okay, so just more overlooking this area. Uh, so when we take the bridge across, hopefully we'll be able to get up there. There's a deer back here. That's a good sign. Probably means we are safe from wolves and timber wolves at the time. Um, for the time being, I should say. Alright, now that I'm staying warm for a reasonable length of time, we're in a position where I could do my plan and be able to spend a long time out here with a hot drink. So next time we go back and get warmed up, it'll be with the intention of doing that. Okay, let's still look over the ravine here. Nothing much to see. And this looks like it is a dead end back here. No place to go. Um, all right, might as well just head back now then. I scared the deer. It's the footsteps I'm hearing. Oh no. Well, that's unfortunate. At least I still have a fire going. Oh, I didn't realize I was this cold already. Do I if I don't warm up soon? Uh, where's the barn? This is not good. Where am I? Uh, I'm gonna follow this road and see if I can find something. What does this say? Mine. Alright, I can figure this out. I think the barn is up this way. Okay, let's not panic. Um... I don't need sticks right now. I just need to move. Right, I think these are stumps. I think I can follow this up to the trailer. So let's just do that. I think what I did was I came around on the other side. Although, wouldn't I have noticed all those reishis when I came through here before? I'm pretty sure this is it, though. Pretty sure the trailer is just up here. Foreman's clear cut. Alright, well, we survived that disaster. Um, I'm probably going to lose that water that I left on, but I didn't even have that much fuel left on the fire. And it's not like I would have been able to do much more anyway, because I have to wait this blizzard out. One thing I'm considering it's midday, but I'm already almost fully exhausted. Where's the nearest? Okay, let me think about this for a second. I might use that as my save point. Um, if I come in here and get a little bit more exhausted, I'll be able to get 10 full hours of sleep. But then I'm gonna wake up in the middle of the night. But then what I could do is just exhaust myself as much as possible, as quickly as possible. Um, I don't know if there's some tasks I can do that are... If there was a rope climb nearby, I could just go intentionally waste a bunch of energy climbing. And then I could come back and sleep again. And I'd get the healing from two full nights of sleep. Um, anyway, I'll have to decide what I want to do about that in the next episode. But uh, that would be a way to get my health back up close to max. Because um, I do have a fair amount of food now. 
Um, anyway, we'll figure that out next time. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching.